Hey everyone, another week has gone by. It's time for another Tip Tuesday. Do you guys know what you shoot for? Are you looking to be a precision shooter? Are you just somebody that likes to go to the range and have fun with a sport? Or do you guys shoot for self-defense and for defense of others? Those are important questions to ask yourselves before you even start training so that you know how to train, right? I hear a lot of people especially when I teach my classes, get upset when they have like three, four, even five inch groupings that are kind of still all A zone groupings uh, because they're not, you know, through the same hole or one inch groupings. Well, if you're looking to be a precision shooter, then all right, you can be upset with that and practice. But if you are like me and are looking to defend yourself and others, I'm not looking to shoot that way, right? I don't care if I have a one inch or even a two inch grouping. I care more about being a little bit quicker and I'm okay with having a four inch grouping center mass uh, because that's what I'm shooting for, right? So my tip for you guys this week is to sit down and think about what you shoot for and make sure you're training for that and have those expectations of what you're training for, right? So if you wanna be a precision shooter, then have that expectation. If you're not looking to be precise, but you're looking to defend yourself, then you can push yourself a little bit harder, a little bit more, and have a three or four inch grouping, and that's awesome if you're being fast. All right, guys, that's my tip for you guys this week. We'll see you next week. Be ready, train smart.